money. So, Keelan, since we uh, have an office in Bellevue and a beautiful, beautiful place in Washington, there's some exciting things going on. What's going on in Bellevue? Well, um, I was just getting caught up with this. You know, I've kind of mentioned a little bit about the uh, the kind of employment coming to Bellevue. Mm-hmm. And we always say, and I mean, very often in many shows have we said that it, if we want to know what the housing market's going to do, if we want to know what real estate's going to do, then follow employment. It always follows employment. Right? Mm-hmm. And our employment is strong here. It and is? I'm not going to touch on all of it, but I do want to touch on Amazon today and how mm-hmm. they are absolutely blowing up in Bellevue. They're concentrating mm-hmm. completely. So... Amazon opened in Bellevue in uh, 2017, and they got about 700 employees here right now. Um, Seattle, on the other hand, has 45,000. So just a few weeks ago, this is all recent, just a few weeks ago, Amazon spent $195 million for a development site in downtown Bellevue. Mm -hmm. So they haven't submitted plans yet, but it's said that the site has a potential of excess of 1.2 million square feet which could be on top of a future light rail station as well. So just kind of think about employment with that. That's huge. That's huge. And that's not it. Um, Then, literally a week after they announced that development, they just confirmed a 16-year lease for two towers called Binary Towers off Mm -hmm. 106 in Bellevue. And that would add an additional 715,000 square feet. So now we're talking like literally almost 2 million, maybe in excess of 2 million square feet in Bellevue. Um, And they're trying to do kind of the same vision as they did in Seattle, like walkable campus in downtown Bellevue. So that's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. And then they've already started the process of locating or relocating employees. And when I say relocating, they're talking about their whole critical worldwide operations team to Bellevue, which they'll have the entire team move to Bellevue by 2023. Yeah. So that's crazy. They need a place to to live. They make good money. A lot of them have significant others that are bringing in income as well. Right. Mm -hmm. And then um, to get a little deeper, since 2017, they opened their first office in Bellevue. In just a few years, they have more than a million square feet, not counting those two deals, which goes to show the commitment and uh, they have yeah. to Bellevue specifically. I mean, they're really putting all their eggs in a Bellevue basket here. Yeah. Now, uh, another layer about that is they also uh, put a huge Seattle uh, or Amazon occupied uh, literally a square block in Seattle for sale. And um, and but. They still, I mean, they're still, it's still in Seattle. Don't get it Mm -hmm. twisted here. They still have 12 million square feet and they have 2 million in construction. But here's the kicker to show you how strong employment here is locally. um, There's a piece of prop, that piece of property just sold for $740 million to a Spanish billionaire and one of the largest commercial real estate deals in Seattle. So even though they Mm. left the block, this giant uh, mogul, it's a Miami based company. Um, led by a Spanish billionaire, his name is Amancio Ortega. And so he's a, a fashion mogul and the parent company of Zara. Me and me and Victoria were talking about Zara the other day. We like Zara. Zara's hmm. a, good, yeah. a, a good clothing store. But companies were $67 billion. So, I mean, let's, I mean, we don't know what's going to happen with that. Mm-hmm. But I know one thing for sure. That's a lot more jobs. So it jobs, is. jobs, Job, jobs, jobs, and jobs. jobs. Well, staying on the theme of Bellevue, uh, 2019 cost of living, Bellevue, Washington versus Seattle, Washington. Overall, Seattle is 12% cheaper than Bellevue. Uh, medium home cost is the biggest factor on the cost of living differences. Medium home cost is 19% cheaper than Seattle. Now, the cost of in- index, the living index, Bellevue versus Seattle. Overall index, Seattle is 12% less. Food and groceries equal. Housing in Seattle is 19, 19.1% less. Uh, medium home price in Seattle is 179000 less at 19.1. Uh, utilities in Seattle, those are 3.1% less. Transportation, it's higher, 5.7%. That makes sense. And health uh, healthcare cost is equal. So Bellevue's population, I was actually really surprised by this, 136,718 people. I believe it. There's a lot of people here. Well, it doesn't seem like very much. It seems like it'd be a lot more. But anyways, medium home uh, value for Zillow is nine hundred twenty thousand five hundred. Medium rent twenty seven fifty versus Seattle twenty two ninety five. Now the livability is seventy nine. 
it, which is the 21st or 21 in Washington and uh, 2645 in the U.S. So they rank better than 90 percent of all areas. Wow. So really exciting. Now, livability uh, index is determined based on the average of seven living categories scoring from zero to 100 and comparing one community to another. So the higher the score, the better. So you go uh, Bellevue at 79. Now, I just wanted to list a few benefits of living in Bellevue. Again, a little partial because we have our office there. I actually live in Newcastle. Keelan lives in Seattle. But um, employment, which Keelan just shared some great information on that. The views. Did you know that Bellevue means beautiful view in French? I did not know that. I know. So beautiful. The views are amazing. (laughs) Parks, more than 100 parks. Lake Washington, whether you're a person that likes to get out on the water or you just want to enjoy a nice walk on the lake, well, you can definitely do that with Lake Washington. Uh, Great places to do business. Um, Again, Keela, what you're mentioning, in, but between... It's highly educated workforce and extremely high quality of living. It's a great place to actually open businesses. Now, we're not dealing with the homeless issues that Seattle is and talking about open businesses. A lot of smaller boutiques and things, they're actually moving their business into Bellevue out of Seattle because of the homeless uh, crisis that's happening there. And I want to do a shout out to uh, all of us girls here in studio and listening. Shopping. Oh my gosh, you've got the Braeburn. So well, what else do you want? Well, me and Tony Bellevue? can't shop too. What's yeah. up with that? Well, you can, but <laughs> so um, that just says there's a lot of great things coming with real estate and the appreciation in the Bellevue market. So uh, that's what we've got for you for our money chat. Coming up next in the money hour, choose a better retirement plan. We have Tony Sablon of Eagle Strategies, New York Life, right here at 11:50 a.m. KKNW. After the short break.